Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, I've come down again today, a little bit chiller, but it's not as bad as it's been out here today to be honest with you. Um, come down today though, because uh, I needed to get down to my old plot and uh, <laughs> basically get some bits off it, because um, yeah, I've still got quite a lot on there if I'm honest with you. I'm just having the time at the minute, I've got so much going on at home um, that yeah, it's just I haven't really haven't had the time to come down here at all. Um, but whilst I come down today, I picked all my uh, daffodil bulbs from my old plot up, so I've put them in. So hopefully, some nice daffodils to uh, put a bit of colour in the place. Um, onions are thickening up now, lovely at the stem. Um, really are picking up nice. Um, yeah, they look ropey the fell over and stuff. But that's probably just the wind that's caused that. Um, yeah, it's. Needs a bit of a tidy up, um, but yeah, it's just one of them. Um, I've got my Sweet Williams are still looking pretty good. I think the Sweet Williams. Um, what I'm trying to create with this front bed really is that for all seasons I've got some kind of colour in it. Even if it is just green, I'm not too fussed. But like you know, come spring I want me daffodils up. I want me you know a bit of yellow, a bit of colour in the plot. Um, but yeah, they're not they're not looking too bad. Um, trying to think where there's decent size one that I can go closer in it but yeah I've got some nice size to them um, so yeah hopefully I'll get something from them um, but yeah see how it goes but yeah the cabbage is still looking good there's a few leaves going again uh, which I'll take off just before I leave still not got around to my fence yet um, my raised beds they're starting to settle down now which is why you can see more of a lip around the edge um, can't wait to get on with the next level of beds just here um, not sure how I'm going to do that yet I'm thinking of playing with the whole lot to be honest with you so go from there uh, I'm hoping the lady that owns the plot next door to me I'm hoping she comes down soon um, and picks picks some of the stuff out of here to be honest with you because there's carrots in here which I'll be honest with you Nice, quite a nice size, and I'm, I've got quite a big hand. You know, it seems such a waste for it to just uh, leave them all in. But the thing is, I need to get on with tightening these up properly and sorting them out, you know, the way they should be. Because um, at the minute, the struts, I don't know where's your best one to tell, to be honest with you. Probably on this one. But as you can tell, where the joist was, the joists have all rotted because he didn't line them. He lined them with uh, just normal ground cover, which obviously allows the moisture in, which is why I use DPC um, on all the insides of my beds uh, to stop the moisture penetrating. Because as you can tell when you look down there, that side needs pulling right in. So a bit like what Terry on uh, Robotic Gardening has just done with his raised bed inside his polytunnel, which looks fabulous by the way, Terry. Um, basically i've got to do the same <laughs> same thing but i've got to dig all these out first which is yeah just to dig that little bit out took me over an hour um yeah looks are very deceiving on the depth of these beds and how much soil's really in them um but once i can do that i mean once i've emptied this one i can practically pull this one together um and then do basically the same because as you can tell here i mean that one's all right that's not moved at all um but this one has so i'm going to try and pull that one back in using more wood and a bit more waterproofing um but scrape it all back and reline the whole thing inside as well um my partner actually got me some damp proof course um hey, hello boy hey hey <laughs> come here where are you going um yeah she got me some damp proof course from uh some outside somebody's house but it's the same it's actually the same depth as these beds which is ideal and there's a good 30 meter length so hopefully i can go from one all the way down but what i'm aiming to do is obviously empty these ones once i've emptied well once i've tightened that up and i've emptied this um tighten this one up because that means this one's structured well that one's structured well and then I won't put that soil back into this yet because what I will do is I'll because I'm going to where that plank is going across there the joist that's obviously rotten as well it's, that one's not actually rotten but I've still not strengthened it up by putting a bead through it um but then what I will do is I'll be basically raking the soil back and filling 
these parts back up. Saves me having to make mounds outside and saves me having to lift it all out. I can just rake it all back. Um, yeah, excuse the mess at the minute, guys. This will all change within the next two, three months. I'm not going to say two, three weeks because my two, three weeks are absolutely awful and I apologise for all the times I've said two, three weeks that I'll have something done by and I've not. Um, just obviously life changes, things change, circumstances change. But yeah, hopefully I can get all these beds sorted. Um, I mean, like I've said before, may salvage them, may not salvage them. But yeah, I do own all of these beds as well. Um, it's just the lady on this plot that I'm stood on at the moment. She actually has been using these because the gentleman who had the plot previous to me wasn't really doing very much. Um, like I say, his wife's got a lot of needs um, that need to be met. So and obviously he still works, so he hasn't got the time. Um, but yeah, my rhubarb's looking quite nice. I'm not, I may or may not be leaving it there. Um, I may end up putting it inside the tunnel actually and creating like a raspberry area and strawberries and just creating it into my like finger, finger fruits really kind of cage. I am thinking about the scaffold netting to be honest. I don't really like the netting that's on it now. A bit too open for my liking. Um, to me it's the kind of stuff a bird will get raveled up in um, which I don't really like you know I don't want to be coming down here picking birds out of my netting so I am going to go for something a lot finer grade which is the scaffold netting which I actually believe it or not I don't know if you can see the green tunnel down there that's actually my old tunnel with the green netting on um, but I let them have the netting with it it's cheap enough to buy the scaffold netting anyway so uh, I'll let her have that um, but yeah, it's not a lot. I mean, I've turned the compost today um, while I was down here dead quick as well. So it's all breaking down lovely. Plenty of red worms in there as well. So yeah, it's breaking down lovely at the minute. Um, so hopefully some nice compost will be coming out of it. And uh, might even be able to gain some bushes out of it because my grandma gave me some stuff to put in there. But unfortunately... It seems to like the moisture content and seems to be growing. So I keep finding like little stems like this. They've got like little nice spouts coming off. Um, and I honestly can't for the life of me think of what it is. Um, yeah, really is not in my head. Um, leaf mould's doing pretty well down there. Um, not really checked it to be honest with you. It's reading at like 15 at the moment. So it's not, it's not... The top's not looking like it's doing very much at the minute. Um, but yeah, there is there is worms in there. It's, it's, it's moist as well still, so there's a bit of grass cuttings in there that I put in there the other week. Um, I had to basically redo it, guys, because I uh, stupidly let it dry out over the uh, Christmas period. Didn't really come down here. Um, so yeah, I'll say that's my daughter's bed open now, as well as Astro Turf. Yeah, I'll just be glad when we get this skip because all of this just needs to go. It's in my face, it's doing my head in. It makes the videos look horrible because it ain't just that pile. It's all this stuff under here, all that stuff over there. There's, yeah, you know, bits and bobs everywhere at the minute. Because um, as I'm going through the plot, I keep finding more rubbish and stuff. So, but I've uh, got my buddlier off my old plot, um, which I'm quite happy about. It's still got a bit of life in it. I'm hoping I can refrive it. Um, so, yeah, it's not a massive update. There are the other two clogs of rhubarb I've got. But uh, I need to get them kind of out of there, really. <laughs> but, yeah, so I will update you guys again very briefly. Um, it's just still I've got appointments coming out of my ears. Obviously, you guys know I did my ankle. Um, I was messing around with my partner, like, yesterday and stupidly ran out of my kitchen into my front room and because I was running, I um, ended up smashing my knee straight into the arm of the chair and so far and obviously it's solid wood. And I've now boogered up my knee. <laughs> um, so yeah, today's ride here it was quite tongue biter um, with pain. So I might have to take a couple of days off again, which means no progress. Which, you know, really irritates me because I want to be down here. I want to be getting things done as cold as it is because I just really want to get it looking bang on for open day but at the minute on a realistic level I can't see me achieving it but yet again I have surprised myself in the past so I may surprise myself and you know end up doing quite a good job to be honest and you know two three weeks I could have it complete if I really knuckle down on it but at the minute I'm just struggling to get my focus going and 
get motivated at the minute, if I'm honest with you. It's just because of how, how busy everything's been. It's just, yeah, <laughs> it's hard work. That's all I can say on it. But uh, hopefully I will update you guys again as soon as I can. And uh, like I say, I appreciate all the uh, thumbs up, all the comments, um, any feedback or suggestions I appreciate as well. But obviously, most importantly, please leave us a thumbs up if you're enjoying the updates. I'm sorry it's not much of an update today. Um, yeah, it's, like I say, time-consuming getting down here. I've not really been down here. But I've got the compost turned. I've got the daffodils transplanted today. Um, I may lose them, may not even flower this year, because I know it's probably the wrong time to have uh, moved them, if I'm honest. But if I don't do it now, I won't get them. So, um, and like I said, I don't want to be spending loads. I'm trying to do everything I can on a cheap basis as can. Um, yeah, obviously, someone was mentioned to me the other day, I think it was Erica's Welsh Garden, asked about, you know, do I spend a lot on the plot? If I'm really honest with you, Erica, I don't spend a lot on the plot at all, if I can help it. Um, most of the materials you can see on the plot, i.e. like the log stripping on the front, um, that was actually uh, left on someone's wall, um, free of charge, I had four rolls of it, and then luckily I found another two rolls that somebody else was chucking out that managed to complete my second lip up of log rolling. Um, the wood the beds are made out of the gentleman actually left that on the plot for me anyway um, and I've also got a load more stored around the side of the shed as well to make the other beds um, yeah don't I try not to spend as a lot at all but uh, yeah so I think I've, the only thing I've spent really is the cost of the gravel which was like 45 quid so but that's you know it's there for a long time it's you know it's not 45 quid I've got to buy every year I think we'll leave it's all right using wood chip and stuff but you've got to keep retopping it up every year redressing it I ain't got the time for that reason I've done what I've done and how I've done it if I'm honest with you um, but yeah everything's on a, a budget a very big budget because um, I'm currently unemployed at the moment um, after being made redundant um, but yeah, it, hopefully I get back into work and yeah, I spend a little bit, but not. I'm not like I say. Even if I am working, I've got money coming in. I've got bigger priorities, you know, to be spending my money on than uh, spending it on my plot at the moment. Um, catch up, <laughs> as you all probably know. Everyone's experienced it once or twice in their life. Um, but yeah, like I say, I will uh, update you guys very soon um, with another video. Hopefully with some progress made this time. There is, like I say, there is progress today. Um, but yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, please leave a thumbs up and I will upload again very shortly. Take care of yourself, guys, and see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.